All right, Barrett said is finally bring you guys an armored core build. So this is a dual trigger, double handgun, double shotgun build using the ducats and the Zimmermans on the back. This build is very highly focused on mobility, being really fast, having good jump height, and having a ton of energy for boosting. I basically try to squeeze as much as I can out of the knockdown hair legs, however it's pronounced, and the Santai generator. That's the one of the really big energy bar. And it's really fun. I wouldn't exactly say it's the best build ever, but it looks sick, it's super fun to play, and again, it's really satisfying. The handguns are really kind of chunky just on their own. They've got a really nice sound to them. They do a lot of stagger damage, and that kind of is the main focus of the build, getting staggered with the handgun, switching to the double shotguns, and getting a big direct hit with the full, you know, blast of the shotguns, getting all the hits. And it's incredibly satisfying, especially the direct hit shotgun blasts are super satisfying. They're so chunky, so meaty, ton of fun. And again, you've got so much boost meter, you can boost around so much, you can basically just kind of boost circles around your opponent. You can't really do much about it unless they're running a similar build. But again, it is a light build, so it is on the squishy side. You know, that's to be expected. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into the build. So I'll talk about go through what all parts I'm using and kind of give some alternatives as well. Get into it. Well, I've dubbed this AC Gunslinger. Or, you know, I think a pretty obvious reason. I mean, double handguns, double shotguns, blast in the way. It felt like a fitting name for this mech. And getting into it, we are, of course, using double ducats and double Zimmermans. Now, keep in mind, with the ducats, they do have really low range, low fire rate, and a small magazine capacity as well. In exchange, we're having you know, single high target damage and single you know, high impact as well. So you do have to be very calculated and very measured for shots. But if you land two ducat shots, it absolutely slaps. Also, guns just sound really nice as well. Very satisfying to use. And getting into the new shotguns, there is pretty much your only choice here, to be honest. Uh, nothing else really fits. Beat 16 just simply drain too much energy. And the Haudemans, you know, it's just like a downgrade, right? Just It's just a downgrade. They do reload faster. But I guess if you wanted to be, you know, uh, to use your shotguns a bit more and a little less focus on just using them for direct hits like me, you could use the Haudemans. Kind of switch out and use these more. It's up to you. But the Zimmons are kind of, you know, kind of the go-to option in my opinion here. Uh, now getting into the actual frame, basically trying to make as much out of the Doctor Her legs as I possibly can. And the main reason I'm using these legs in particular, because there are some other options. Like you could use the Formaza legs. You know, it's you know, pretty much just as fast, and it does have better defenses, even better attitude stability. But it does have much worse jump height than the Doctor Her legs, and that's the main reason I'm going for these. You know, really good mobility, tons of jump height, you know, super fast. And, you know, that's the main reason why. Getting into the other parts, for the head, I'm using the VP-44S. There actually are a couple options here. And, um, kind of look for what I can get, you know, with the best you know, overall stats as I possibly can. But your other options here are the Mailender head. Uh, you know, pretty similar in terms of defensive stats. Uh, kind of an overall downgrade in terms of utility stats. And the Mind Alpha. I know I don't have all the uh, the heads. There might be some other ones that I just don't have that might be better. But the Mind Alpha is another decent option. Actually, better defenses overall. Well, pretty good defense stats. Uh, it is a little heavier, but it does just barely, barely, barely fit. Uh, and it's pretty much up to you personally. I basically stepped the VP 44S because of my options. I think it looks the best. Uh, <laughs> aesthetics are pretty important to me when it comes to AC builds and so that's why I'm sticking with this head right here you know if there's another head that I just haven't unlocked I, again I haven't unlocked everything feel free to use that instead and the only core and I do have all the cores the only core that fits on this build is the Nocturne Heart core literally nothing else fits it's either you know, overburdened or uh actually yeah I think they're all just overburdened yeah everything else is just too heavy but this is your only option <laughs> is what it is and for the arms, I am using the Forever Mesa arms. In my current setup, this is the only thing that fits. Uh, but you could actually switch out the arms. So you could switch out for the Nocturne Hurt arms. And then either, or the, uh, where is it? Ah, the Finder Eye. You can also use the Finder Eye here. And this gives you slightly better, or actually, I guess pretty significantly better firearm specialization over the Forever arms. Personally, I prefer the from the arms. I like the extra recoil control. And I don't really find the extra firearm specialization really helps that much to me personally. Uh, you might find it better 
obviously slightly better defensive stats and whatnot. But uh, another big reason, I just kind of like how these look more. And I really hate how the finder eye looks. But again, aesthetic's pretty important to me. But you can switch that out if you really, really want to. Entirely up to you. And again, the uh, legs. Now getting into the inner parts. First for the boosters using the Alula 2.1E. You know, these are kind of like the booster specialized. You know, the quick boost specialized boosters. Really, really fast boost. Um, nothing else is like really a particularly good honest uh, uh, option in my opinion. I suppose there's like the gills, which technically you know, has more quick boost, but slower quick boost. Also, much slower boost speed. I think the Alula are kind of like the obvious choice here. Uh, if you want to use something else, you can. Uh, now, for the FCS, I'm using the Abbott really high close range assist. Again, both our weapons are super close range. And in fact, if I'm not mistaken, uh, yeah, 130 meter, pretty much the ideal range is always within 130 meters. So you, you really want to be in that close range as much as you possibly can. So I guess that does kind of work out. And for the generator, again, we are using the sand type. Again, super high energy capacity, decent recharge. Very, very, very good generator. Not really any other options. You know, there's a couple that you know, they technically do fit, but are, in my opinion, downgrades. Um, and, you know, I suppose if you really want to use something else, you can. I guess, you know, this also has you know, pretty much just as much energy capacity, but it is the, like the weird um, oral based generator. I haven't really tried using these, so, you know, maybe they're better than I think. Um, personally, I'm just sticking with the reliability of the Santai, right? And of course, for the Ismatch, you just use whatever you want. Personally, I just use the Assault Armor because, you know, it's kind of whatever. I don't really use this that much at all, to be honest. And yeah, there you go. That's the build. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know what you think of the build. Let me know if you got any builds you want to share in the comments. If I like it, I'll even make a video about it. Of course, I'll credit you. But yeah, that's it for this video. Always, if you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.